Well, Austin's reputation in the, well, kind of in the technological realm, if you look across the country, does precede itself because it turns out, as we learned earlier in the week, that Austin is the largest city in our country that does not have a planetarium. And so an event here in West Austin is, well, well hopefully the beginnings of a, a way to change that. Torvald Hessel, the executive director of the Austin Planetarium, talking with us about how uh, it, we're right at the beginning of it real still, but you're getting some very interesting pictures today. We're able to look at some designs. We're able to talk to some people who are kind of movers and shakers in the technology field. Yes, um, you're absolutely right. Right now, Austin is still the largest city of the United States without a planetarium or science museum. Did you know that we're larger than San Francisco these days? It, it, it's, amazing. It, it's amazing. Most people don't realize that, that Austin is not a little city anymore. And so, yes, we need a planetarium, science museum, technology center, and that's what the Austin Planetarium is doing. And so we have this wonderful fundraiser with our host, Richard Garriott, here all set up and that we're so excited about uh, to have this fundraiser, um, to, to have it here tonight. Richard, hard to believe. We were just talking about uh, earlier in the week how Dallas has 13 planetariums, that Dallas area. Here we are in Austin. With zero. With Zero. It, you, you know, it, it is really uh, it's stunning when you see that statistic. And uh, you know, with with as what such a high tech and science oriented community we are yes. as we are, it's really uh, frankly a shame that we don't have uh, more of a focus on what I call community uh, support of you know of, of the of the community itself uh, to sub celebrate and support and learn about things like science and space and astronomy in particular through a planetarium. And you're kind of a leader in the gaming community, amongst other things. You kind of started with science fiction. This is a little bit more fact, but all of it really helps to instill the interest in science and astronomy and, and just a wide range of things. Tell me about some of the characters we're going to see here tonight, including this guy. <laughs> uh, yes, in fact, we have Galileo with us tonight. And, uh, uh, you, you'll actually, it's, it's, he actually quite, looks quite young, considering uh, the <laughs> centuries that have gone yes. by, uh, in fact. But, uh, yeah, we have uh, not only Galileo, but uh, space artifacts. I brought not only some of my own personal space artifacts, like the suit I wore in space and some of the other things uh, that I, from my uh, last year's, in fact, uh, it, it was a year ago this time that I was in space aboard the International Space Station. Uh, but we also have uh, things like uh, a, you know, one or two, uh, two real Sputniks, uh, the first object that was ever flown in space. Uh, we have a number of planetarium-like experiences, these uh, virtual planets, these projected planets that uh, let you see in great detail the surface of Mars or the Moon. Uh, as well as a bunch of interactive video displays uh, that uh, also celebrate science and technology in space. Very cool stuff. And, and I have to wonder here at Britannia Manor, what would Galileo say about all this? <laughs> it's truly a wondrous place. The time travel technology you used has restored my youthful vigor, although it's given me a bit of a shave. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the idea of a planetarium, Galileo, for Austin? From what I understand, a planetarium is a most wondrous invention that can show people the wonders of a sky without having to worry about cloudy nights. Absolutely. My bane 400 years ago, to be certain. <laughs> Blame not the meteorologist. All I'm going to say, <laughs> all I'm going to say is that, again, the planetarium will offer an opportunity to, to see the stars and really uh, find our place in this vast universe as a little blue dot, if you will, the third rock from the, the sun and the center of all our solar system, as we now know Galileo. Thank you. Uh, for reporting from West Austin, I'm Burton Fitzsimmons, News 8.